Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Hafey with Hafey Digital here. Welcome to day six of 31 days of tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro to quickly and easily add crossfades between your video clips and audio clips. Let's jump into it. So if you're like me, you're probably pretty familiar with the constant power audio transition and the cross dissolve video transition, but there's a much easier way to apply those transitions to your clips versus having to go into the effects panel, search for the effect and drag it onto the clip. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So first off, let's assume that I want to create a crossfade between these two clips as well as a fade in and out on the ends of the clips. All I have to do is highlight my clips here and hit shift D and you'll notice that all of a sudden I've got the constant power and cross dissolve transitions all throughout the two clips in between them and on the ends. But let's say you only want to cross dissolve the video. Well, let's undo this. Again, we'll select the clips again. And this time I'm just gonna hit Control D and boom, you'll notice that the cross dissolves now are only on the video clips here. And the same thing can be done with the audio. So I'm going to undo that, select my clips again. And this time I'm going to hit Control Shift D and you'll notice that the crossfades only apply to the audio clips here. Now let's say you want to apply a crossfade only between the clips or at either one of the ends as opposed to applying the crossfades all throughout. There's also an easy shortcut for that and to do that all you need to do is move your cursor to where you want the crossfade applied, right click and hit apply default transitions and you'll see here that this only applies the crossfade between the two video clips. If I undo that I can also go to the end here right click at the end, apply default transitions. It's going to apply it only to the end of that video clip. If I undo that, I can go down to the audio and do the same thing down here. Or if you go up here and enable the linked selection option, you can right click on either the audio or the video and apply the default transition in where that cut is between both the audio and video clips. And there you go, that is how you quickly and efficiently add cross dissolve and constant power transitions to your video and audio clips. I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, be sure to leave a like on this video and come back and see me again tomorrow for another Premiere Pro tutorial.